What is going on YouTube? Today I got a sandwich from a place called Melt Witch accompanied by a massive, massive headache. So let's just, let's just get into it here. So Melt Witch is a sandwich place. They got a bunch of stuff. They have like halal and plant-based options, but they have a ton of, they have sandwiches, they have poutines, they have uh, burgers, which I guess are technically still a sandwich. And yeah, originally I wanted to get like this West Indian food place that I remember going to a long time ago, but when I went there, they weren't there. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll get the next best thing, which is something kind of close. So I got a sandwich. Um, I hate how they put it in such small boxes. I know it's like to save money, but I like dig in here to get this. Not gonna lie, this is looking really good though. Look at that. Mm, okay, well, everywhere. All right, so this is the Southern Fried Chicken Sandwich from Mount Witch. It has Southern Fried Chicken, it has tomato salsa, a pickle, chipotle, and some dill sauce in it. So remember, before we get into this, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you want to try anything we talk about. Now do that. No, it's timestamps in the description. This is hot, so I'm gonna take a first bite here. Mm. that's good i really like that it's nice and hot it's got a nice crunch to it like uh, you can't really see but or maybe you can't see actually it's got a nice little like grill on it nice little crust on the bread so it's nice and crunchy Chicken is tasting good, it's nice fried, southern fried chicken. Seasoned pretty well too. I must say, I really like going to this place because while I was sitting down waiting for my food, the franchise owner actually came and talked to me. We had a nice conversation about just a franchise where I like on the menu if I've ever had it before. You know, he said he used to be uh, into catering and then he opened up like a Melt Witch because catering just went downhill after COVID or during COVID. So. He also told me that the franchise only cost 500k, which actually is a lot more than I thought it'd been. Because Melt Witch, I don't see many Melt Witches. I think I've only seen two. This one that's near me, and the one that's kind of like across Brampton. The only ones that I've seen. So to hear that they're 500k for a franchise, kind of expensive. Because that's like, is that how much like a Tim Hortons is or something? Or like a KFC? I'm actually not too sure. There's a dill sauce in here and I really like it. Like, good sauce. So I guess like customer service, like 11 out of 10. So, I've had Melt Witch three times. This is my favorite thing. Last time I had it, which was in like one of my earlier videos when I was doing that bird's eye view thing going on, I had it and I had like some Angus burger, I think. I'm not too sure. It was like a limited time burger and that's when I got it. At least I think that was when I was doing the bird's eye view. And then before I had that, like during, I had it during COVID when it was on financial drive, like across Brampton. And that was pretty good too. Pepsi Zero. I realized as I was leaving too, that I definitely should have got a side. Cause this isn't gonna be enough food cause I've been awake for some time now. I saw they had tater tots. I definitely should have got some tater tots there, but it's fine, I guess. Not much I can do about that. Anyways, have you guys heard there's a new, a new pandemic virus coming out? 
Or maybe it already came out. So I saw it yesterday or something like that. It's called Meadow Pneumonia Virus. Apparently, it's similar to COVID. Highly infectious, etc. But it's a respiratory sickness, I guess. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I woke up today and I was coughing and having trouble breathing. I thought it was the end for me. But I'm fine now, I guess, besides from the headache. But yeah, that's crazy. Another one. I wonder if it's gonna be like COVID. I feel like maybe we've learned from COVID, so next time we won't go into a giant lockdown again, but can't really say for certain, huh? I wouldn't mind another lockdown. As long as we get that 2K a month again, you know? All I was doing was waking up. Mm. What do I want to do today? Go to Freshco, get some stuff, learn how to cook, make some messing on YouTube, and then play games and watch videos and movies and stuff like that all day. What a time. But yeah, a new virus dropped. Crazy. Can you believe we've had two pandemics i mean well, we had a pandemic and it was looking like another virus coming out before frank ocean dropped and jay-z isn't that crazy these guys live in their best life final bite here I really enjoyed this one. This one's a good one. And with that being said, guys, that was Mount Witch. It was pretty good. And it cost me like 15 bucks, I think. I'm not actually too sure, but it wasn't like super expensive. But yeah, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anyone try anything to talk about. I'm down to do that. Also, check out the chest videos in the side there. And yeah, that was Mount Witch. I'll probably give it like an 8.3. Yeah, 8.3 is pretty good. I liked it a lot. It had a lot of good things for it, way more than like negative things. So I don't even really, aside from me not really liking tomato too much. There isn't really anything too negative about it. Maybe the box too, but I get why they do it. It's fine. And yeah, remember to stay safe out there. There's a new uh, there's a new virus around apparently. Just remember to sanitize your hand, wear a mask if you can. If you're sick, stay away from people. And yeah, about which, pneumonia virus for Shrewview. Peace.